Hey everybody, Jason Barlow with Sell for One Percent here with Dave Barlow, Michael Hopper, and my youngest brother Jamie Barlow here with the House of the Week. Jamie, take it away. Thanks, Jason. This week's House of the Week is two sixteen North Franklin Street, also known as the Oaks. Um, this once upon a time farmhouse was built on a large plot of land in 1871 as a residence for Martha Sanborn, the namesake of Ohio Wesleyan University Sanborn Hall. Um, yeah, and for more than a, a century following Sanborn's death in 1907, it served as Ohio Wesleyan University's Chai Phi Fraternity House. Hmm. Uh, bye Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> university recently relinquished <laughs> ownership of the house and surprise, surprise, it was in disrepair. Um, so after a hundred years of being a sorority, <laughs> if those walls, way worse, if those walls could talk, right? No kidding. Um, but the, the restoration that has been done has been a true masterpiece of American Gothic revival architecture. Uh, and you can kind of see through the pictures a lot of what they have done where they keep a lot of the old original style and character of the house. Um, so obviously located in Delaware County, uh, it has recently undergone this meticulous restoration project and transformed into a stunning single family home. Um, so over the years that the property did change hands a few times and eventually left abandoned. Uh, another reason it fell into massive disre disrepair. Um, and the current owners are a family of four. They stumbled upon the property in 2019. Despite its dilapidated state, they were immediately struck by the beauty of the house and its potential. And they knew that there was a lot of work ahead of them. Um, this restoration did not come without its challenges. Uh, the significant damage over the years from being a frat house and left abandoned left its mark uh, uh, and many of its original features had been lost or damaged beyond repair yeah uh, yeah and so the owners had two ideas in mind restore the house to its original condition or just make it very modern and upgrade the entire thing to make it more functional um, and in the end they decided to do a mix of both um, they were committed to preserving the historical integrity of the house but also wanted to create a comfortable and functional living space for their family. And the result is a stunning combination of old and new, where the original features are seemingly blended with modern conveniences. Um, from the pictures, you'll see the outside, which is one of the most, the exterior is one of the most stunning features of the house. Um, steeply, steeply pitched roofs, uh, pointed arches, an ordinate trim and all characteristics of the American Gothic revival style are seen throughout, uh, which was popular in the mid 19th century. Um, and then the owners were tirelessly to restore these features by sourcing period appropriate materials and hiring skilled craftsmen to complete the work. Um, and then the inside is just as impressive as the outside. The original fireplace had been covered up for many, many years, and that was restored to its former glory, uh, becoming the centerpiece of the large living room. Owners also uncovered the original hardwood floors, which had hidden layers of, hidden underneath layers of linoleum. Linoleum. <clears throat> linoleum. linoleum. <laughs> that linoleum <laughs> tile. <laughs> and carpet. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> One of the biggest challenges the owners faced during the restoration project was the staircase. Um, the original hand carved staircase had been damaged beyond repair, but the owners were determined to find a solution for a replacement. And after an extensive search, they did find a skilled craftsman who was able to recreate the staircase using the same techniques and materials that would have been used in the 19th century. Hmm. That's cool. Yes, it is. And you can see a little bit of the uh, staircase railing in the pictures and it is yeah. beautiful. Um, the modern conveniences they mixed in 
mainly include the kitchen, which is completely updated with modern appliances and fixtures. But the owners chose a design style that was sympathetic to a historical uh, character of the house. And so kitchen is both functional and beautiful with all the modern amenities a family could need. The house boasts four bedrooms, three bathrooms, making a perfect family home. And the owners have created a spacious open plan living room, uh, which is perfect for entertaining guests and spending time with family. The house also has a large backyard, which the owners have landscaped to create a beautiful outdoor space for their family to enjoy. Perhaps the most impressive thing about the restoration project is the level of research and attention to detail that the owners put into it with countless hours of research. Um, they went through the history of the house, consulting historical records, archives, ensuring every detail of the restoration was accurate and true to the original design. Um, they also worked closely with historical preservation societies who provided guidance and support throughout the restoration process. Um, by doing so, the owners were able to ensure the house was not only beautiful for the family, but also an important piece of local history. So that is our house of the week. I will uh, work on Leno. <laughs> That's great. You, had, you had it. There yeah, it and I and I personally love Linonium tile when it's in the American <laughs> Gothic revival style. That is the cream of the crop. Now, it's not only also, the family, uh, the original that family has a beautiful home. It's also Delaware, highly Ohio. volatile. Linoleum. There hey. you go. Chicone. <laughs> <laughs> you come by it honestly <laughs> good house jamie thanks guys Very cool. all right thank you sir my pleasure have a good one guys